Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Out Forex. So let's go straight to our daily, daily analysis. It's Friday. I hope everyone is doing great. Yeah, I hope everyone is doing great. I hope you did follow the news, actually. So it's like everything in the market is just melting, guys. But I have to actually, I thought maybe the market will bounce back yesterday, but nope. The market was still actually uh, pushing lower, you can see. Everything actually in China, it was just going down. Uh, you can see here, uh, I'm on CNBC, China property giant uh, Evergrande or Evergrande uh, files for bankruptcy uh, protection in the US. So if we check other things, you can see Bitcoin was also going down. Uh, uh, let's see, European market says to slide as caution lingers around Dubai. Uh, stocks um, treasury yield are putting pressure on stock china central bank uh, steps up intervention after yen hit 16 year low against the dollar so you can see that uh, there is nothing actually positive everything that we can check here is just negative negative s p 500 futures this is one hour ago a little uh, unchanged major index post third straight losing day actually even today i will be expecting maybe the market to sell i thought maybe yesterday the market will actually try to push to the upside uh, i will show you that actually on uh, especially indices not currency pairs so for those if maybe guys if maybe let me just tell you something guys Sometimes, uh, if you know that you've been like actually trading, you don't actually have proper, proper strategy, or you don't really have that, uh, you are not consistent in, in your trading. Guys, you can join the team. We have some signals. Uh, we have some signals. Sometimes to do it your own, it's fine, but you need people around you. You need a group actually, so that we will actually discuss this and that, right? that helps actually so you have a chance to join lifetime 12 months and stuff like that you see but if maybe you want to learn if you want to learn from me uh, we we also have lifetimes uh, a, a subscription on this lifetime subscription you can also we include also mentorship but if you just want only mentorship is going to be 150 dollars so if you want this subscription you can just let me know because i know guys trading is difficult trading it's seriously seriously difficult especially when you are alone you don't actually understand what's really happening maybe you still figure out maybe how to understand fundamentals uh, your emotions that are all over the place all those things they factor uh, on your trading decisions but if you have someone uh, on your side even if you know how to trade but sometimes it helps to have a team you see so currently we are on gbp usd what's really happening on gbp usd uh, we can easily see let me yeah we can easily see that uh, the market is doing what the market is still actually on this uptrend but the market is just playing around this area so we'll zoom around that and see what's really happening let's zoom let's zoom let's zoom the market seems to be actually consolidating the market seems to be trying to consolidate you can see that so we are we have a very nice uptrend on top here we have this diagonal resistance. then the market broke out it's fine but now we we left with this area it's a horizontal a resistant you can see that is a horizontal resistant so on the bottom side we also have a support so it makes sense that the market here is just consolidating the market is just consolidating another advice is when the market is doing something like this especially when we see stocks going up and down i think it's much better to run away from nasdaq us thirty and trade currency pair for only this week or two weeks just relax because the market in the guys is just going to press your buttons and you end up making some mistakes i'm talking from experience i know what's really happening in the market you see i know how we behave actually uh, when the market start to do something like that you get in small profit boom three minutes later the market uh, is actually uh, against you that's really not good guys so 
now we are we are on euro usd i want to make it daily time frame so on euro usd what's really happening we can easily see that yes the market is doing what it's actually pushing to the upside but already we have a breakout there but i see something i see something here i don't know if maybe the market broke out of that the market can respect this area and start to push up if not maybe we will see the market pushing that and start to push lower so let's go closer there let's go closer there let's use four hours time frame four hours time frame let's see so on four hours time frame you can easily see that yes the market is actually we have a very nice breakout by the way but if you check since the breakout the market was just playing around the market did not just push lower now at least the market is trying to push lower but here the market was just consolidating at least now the market is trying to push lower but we have another area here it should be that is actually a support so if we look uh, on our left hand side we have this area you see that area so we have to mark that because sometimes the market will actually respect that the market will respect that so when we go on a sell we know that a trend can last longer you can see let's just look at this one so we are not maybe in a hurry you can see the trend can actually last longer from november to september it's almost a year you see so we can't just rush things here with just because of this two uh, one week there we have to relax wait for a breakout because the market can continue like that for maybe another more than eight months i hope you understand that so let's go closer again let's go closer let's go closer again let's zoom zoom okay so now what we see here is for us to stay longer in the game i think this zone is also something that we can actually check because there is a chance that the market can do what the market can touch i'm just happy today guys i don't know why i don't know why i'm happy because even yesterday i lost hey i don't know but it seems to be a very good day so you can see this area so there is a chance for the market to also respect that there is a chance for the also the market to respect that and push the upset so which means we are on a downtrend because we broke out of this uh, area here but once we get out there i will be saying you know what it's fine let's just push lower why don't i just jump on the market why don't i sell here just because the market broke out already it's not maybe because of this area it's because you can see that the market doesn't really wants to push uh, even lower you can see the consolidation guys you can see how the market consolidate around these structures the market just push up and down so we need proper proper trend where the market will be giving us some proper yes it seems like the market is doing that but here it's full of consolidation so we have to stay safe guys we have to stay safe in the market risking is good but we have to plan our risk so we don't just have to go out there just to lose uh, even though we are trying to take some risks you see so that's why we say if you want to learn contact me whatsapp me but if you just want to receive the signals uh, as i showed you as i showed you uh, these are our services whatsapp me telegram me whatever then i will plug you in 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 my group then yeah we can start to take it from there so now we are actually on gold let's go on a daily time frame please guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button let's try to subscribe guys you know what i like to repeat this let's support uh youtubers out there not only me not only people who actually trade or something but especially africans i'm not saying maybe if you are not african you are not welcomed just because people they like to change things my point is especially africans guys this might be the alternative just to share information very quick you know africa or let's say yeah africa in general uh, we still behind when it comes to information but with the likes of uh of the like uh, social medias like youtube uh other ones now people get to know things very quick you can learn very quick that's why i say 
you should subscribe them because that it will help them to grow especially as they are african it's easy to understand one another i hope you understand that so you grow in you might be not gaining anything but actually you're making the country to grow just look at us or europe uh, all those guys they are channels they're growing very quick and they make a living out of that and from there they start to have sponsors they now can help they can able to help like uh, it's like i can say they they now have long hands they can able to go further and do other things that they go in uh, that can still help other people like now i can say okay uh, if my channel let's say maybe if we reach 10,000 subscribers what i can do is since now uh, maybe let's say youtube tries to pay me or maybe we have sponsors i can say you know you know what guys if it's like that i can make people to join my team for free then i will just uh, actually survive with whatever that i do on my tradings and only on youtube so if maybe you want to join let's just join for free and stuff like that you see why because there is an alternative so i'm not saying that people they should just like to join things for free because when people uh, come to actually a uh, forex people they just want free things but they never get things for free on other platforms or other type or other industries you can go to a store now and say i want to join for free you can go at school now and say kenzo i want uh, i want uh, maybe let's say any university and say okay i want to learn this for, for for three months or six months and i want it for free you can't get that you see so actually it's like you're paying for our time because we also get busy you see so that is i think it's something that is actually straightforward people should understand that so that's why i say please guys let's try to subscribe not only my channel any channel that you see especially when people try sometimes you see that oh people they don't actually have enough equipment uh you can see that they're still struggling here and there so subscribe try to help them even if you don't really watch but the more you subscribe that it will expose their channel to other people and maybe those people they will be interested in whatever they do and maybe six months later or a year later you will see that person changing and which is good which is good you see so anyways yeah we can change uh africa in different ways not only trading youtube whatever music whatever but there are so many ways that we can change we're developing very quick so we have to have enough information so what's really happening now uh we are on gold and sorry guys i took some time i like to talk i like to talk i understand that people who are watching here they want analysis but we are still humans we still have to talk we still have some issues and we need to cover those things right so i hope some who uh, already subscribed they already understand i like to talk so what's really happening here is we are on gold and gold is also been pushing lower but what i like is already we broken out here we can't you can't just jump on that i will just show you why so you can see that the market was pushing up very nice but where we are now the market actually around this area there is this area you see that zone there you see this zone here the market seems to be trying to respect that and you can see maybe there is a smaller green candlestick there or blue or sky blue candlestick there so if the market gets below that it's where we're gonna say yes now it's time for us to do what to look for that proper sell so i understand sometimes people when they don't really get the signals they go oh guys uh, one two three yes if you check this trend guys if you check this trend it's been here for quite some time let's start from here 2022 october now it's august uh yeah it's august just imagine if you just want to mess your things and just imagine this trend it's been pushing up for more than six months so it means even here if we wait for confirmations the same thing that i explained on the other pair if we wait for a confirmation here and breaks out we can still enjoy those sell positions for more than six months so the problem is when you can't wait when you don't really have that patience so 
you should have that patience guys it's not really easy but it's better to learn i did recommend a book i will also show you that again that you should actually watch I did recommend a book that you can actually watch. So you can see that the market actually broke out here. Uh, we are on four hours time frame. The market broke out already here. The market broke out here. You can see that. But still, the market is showing us a proper aggressive sell. But this sell, guys, it was aggressive. The market was just pushing up and down. So even if maybe you were selling one way or another you were just going to lose somewhere somehow the, the rejections were aggressive so now we have this last area here the market did touch but but now it seems to be pushing to the upside let me zoom again the market seems to be pushing to the upside right so the way it's pushing to the upside i will just do what i will no longer focus on this one because it seems like it's created something a bit lower even if it's around the same level so what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to mark this area and say you know what if the market breaks that now we are out on that cell and we know that yes if that happens we are going to just continue on the cell i'm not saying it's gonna move very smooth but yeah i think that's some something that we should look at if not maybe the market will break out here on this resistance then we will look for a very nice buy i think whatever that is going to happen in china if they may be let's say the interest rates whatever if the government intervene i think things they will change very quick i i i, I understand me that you understand the fundamentals if they say okay we're just going to increase the rates one two three we're going to order this we're going to you we're going to see the market starting to run very quick very 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 quick so but i don't know what time are they going to do that but we know very well that they're going to something very nice might happen so now we are actually on gb uh, usd uh, usd sorry us 30 we are on us 30 what's really happening here uh, the market is moving very nice it's moving it was pushing up very nice and where we are now uh, we are actually on a daily time frame you see that so we had to pre previously we had this resistance a very stronger resistance uh, that we had like previously and it seems like the market is going back there do you see that it seems like the market is going back here you see that the market was respecting this area we pushed that uh, we broke out of that stronger resistance now the market is back again if it already broken out so we don't know if maybe the market will just play around here or push lower but we will see what will happen so let's go closer and see what's really happening so now we are into two whether the market is going to respect that or maybe the market is going to uh, actually think about uh, pushing lower so let's see so we have something like this you can see yesterday we had a very nice pending order the reason behind that the reason be let me just remove this the reason behind that maybe uh, if you know how to uh, to analyze maybe you can see that the reason behind that is we see that the market was pushing like this so here we were waiting for a very nice pending order we were waiting for the market to do what to push to the upside guess what the market did push to the upside smaller profits smaller profits few minutes later few hours later sorry the market started to go against us and we see it broke out of that uh, support now we have our last support so since things are still bad I've, I'm still, maybe today the things might still, I think the market can still push even lower. But we are on the support. We jo we're going to just relax here and see. Then if it pushes lower, yes, we're going to just wait for it. If not, maybe we can have a very nice buy pushing to the upset. So on this one here, we took a loss. So guys, we, we don't really have to be afraid to say, oh, I took a loss, one, two, three. People, they might not even think sometimes when we say hey, we took a loss here people that might not even join you because they expect you to say i'm always winning which is not true even profitable i'm profitable but i still have some losses there's other weeks where it's just a losing streak and we still we still survive we still survive but if you say oh i'm just winning non-stop 
yeah, it's fine for you, but uh, sometimes we have to to be. It's better to for me to just to say the right thing to say. You know what? We took a loss here. How you going to take it? Uh, it's up to you. Whether you you wanted to join me, then you heard me saying, "Oh, we lost." Okay, that's your problem, and we're still going to lose. We're still going to make it, and next of next year you're gonna see me here and we're still going to eat so what's really happening here is we are on nasdaq 100 the market is still pushing to the upside hey the reversal is there you can see but that one doesn't really to me i think it's not really that uh, crazy but along the way the market actually showed us that maybe it wanted to reverse we had a support that around that area let me just zoom there because i think we already see this uh point i already even talked about that several times so let's go closer let's go closer so on these areas we also had levels like around this area where the market did push up we did make profit so i thought maybe the market was going to continue but nope i was wrong the market did break out and start to push lower again it's quite similar to here you see we have another area there and it's very very closer to our support so we may think maybe the market will do what maybe the market will push to the upside guess what maybe the market will still push lower because things are not performing very well so it's up to us to just stay safe and understand what's really happening i think the best thing is sometimes you can't time or the market because sometimes you can get still get in profit but while you're still waiting in that profit the market can reverse against your direction and that is very painful i know so let's go on four hours time frame and see what's really happening uh, on four hours time frame we have this structure it's fine i think we have to delete some of this we already see that the market is pushing lower so we left with very few very yeah i think this one is fine i'm just waiting maybe for the market to just play around maybe this area then maybe the market will be pushing to the upside if not if not maybe we will see the market pushing even lower like serious the market can still push even lower but there is a possibility for us to have a very nice buy but as you saw as i showed you that hey things are bad things are bad so there is a chance uh let's see china's economic model is washed up on the beach says veteran one two three one hour ago china's growth aggression will be focused on closest ranks ah yeah yeah so everything is just bad guys so everything's just bad and we know china is actually the second largest economy in the world so that actually means for those who don't really understand if it's the second one it means they import their export and import in the world it's also bigger because we scale the economy like that so if things are going lower it means people they're not long as whether it's economy or people in china the spending is gonna go lower their export is gonna be lower their import is gonna be lower so that automatically it affects everyone if maybe for example if i'm selling tomatoes and maybe i was selling maybe 100 tomatoes to china maybe now they only take in 40 you see oh, what about other 60 60 so you see now things they they just things they start to mess up i'm not saying talking about only the tomatoes i hope you understand my point but that happens all over the world that's why every economy now is actually affected i hope you understand that i hope you learn about that so once they because they are the second one once they get affected even the, as long as you are a smaller uh, uh, economy one way or another as long as you do business with china that can also actually ruin the business you see you can ruin your economy also whether it's us they produce other products uh, for you as companies you see so that is also something that uh, can hurt uh, the market but with times like this the best way is to go and focus on pairs like japan gbp europe and stuff like that and we can stay a little bit away from nasdaq and usdt but if you are on the right side of the market you might not feel this obviously 
but when it's time for the market to punch you, you will feel that, you see. So I hope you understand. I feel this because I only trade in NASDAQ. I only trade NASDAQ. So I, I, I hope you understand that. So I hope you uh, you enjoyed. Thank you very much. This is Kenzo Extra Out Forex. For those who want to, I, as I repeat, if you want to join the team, don't forget to, to WhatsApp me, Telegram me, 123, whatever. So thank you very much. Bye, bye, bye.